The new set in Gadget Chain is absolutely amazing. And today I played the craziest game that I have ever played. Let's immediately dive in. The new cards are finally available in Sealed. And today I got to play with some amazing cards from the Dread Awakening set. I was able to pull off some insane combos. With the new cards, I'm going to be showing you how the Elderich Mysteries work. I'm going to be showing you how the mutation mechanics work. Let's immediately dive in. Wow, guys, my starting hand is great. We already get to see the new cards in action. If we manage to attack with this creature, we're going to get the Elderich Mysteries, which is a whole new mechanic. Oh no, my opponent is going to give, but still not the end of the world. So we can't attack now, but let me actually read what this does. Uncover an Elderich Mysteries card and add it to your hand, or advance your tier of Elderich Mysteries. Oh, so this is ramping up, basically, right? I mean, I could play the Time Bomb here and end my turn. My opponent made a small mistake. They are going to let me attack with this on the next turn. And the Siren Blade for my opponent. But okay, now we get the tempo back on the board. Wow, that's really cool. We are going to get to see some of the new stuff in action immediately. Wow, cool, 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 cool. Guys, we are going to uncover the first Elderich Mysteries here. Uh, let me just attack with this. Let's get rid of that. Oh, there they go. The Elderich Mysteries. One mana, summon two, one, one rats. Or a lab specimen. This card that we have right here. Deal one damage to a random enemy. Oh, so this is two damage as well. Wow, that's really cool actually. I think I'm going to go with the rats. Yeah, for one mana I think this is going to give to be the best value here in shield. Or for one mana we can summon one of those guys, who is also amazing. And now I'm going to play my wayward hat, and then I'm going to use my god power to summon a badger, and that's going to give me a mutation. Wow, guys, the mutation is another crazy mechanic. I told you, Shield is going to be so awesome. My opponent is just going to use Dargat Power, but we don't mind that at all. There is my Swamp Witch. I can, can just Dread Touch my Mortal Rise here, the spell that we just got, to summon a Lab Specimen. Yep. And now I can make the trade happen. Basically, for one mana, we trade this card. This is going to go down on the next turn. But what I can do right now is just use my God Power again to get another mutation in my hand. Wow, that's really, really cool. I'm not even kidding. Basically, mutations transform the spells in our hand into higher cost spells, but we keep the same mana cost. Oh, my opponent just played pacifism, but this is going to go down on its own anyway, so that was a waste of a card. Okay, I can honestly just dread touch this again. I'm going to dwell with wild creature now. Oh, that's also cool. Wait. Or let me just get the Pyre Shell Beetle, uh, in all honesty. Because that's going to be a little stronger now. And then I can play another lab specimen. Or even this that I think about it. Let's play this. And I'm going to end my turn. I'm not going to be greedy with the mutations, but guys, we're going to pull off an insane combo in this game. As soon as we find the spell, we can ramp up our spell, practically. Look at the value of this card. Wow. How good is that? How good? There's my Moonlight Charm. That's amazing. I mean, I can play that. And then I kind of want to get rid of that as well, so let me make a trade happen on this. Let me deal two damage to my opponent, and guys, it's looking really, good, really, really good for us. Oh, that's a really strong creature for my opponent. My we have the helpful Aether Fox, that doesn't really help me here. Um, what I can do, I think I'm just going to play the Jungle Princess and then buff her up. Are these wilds? Oh, these are wilds! So we get two more mutations! Wow, how are we even pulling this off in shield? That's crazy that's absolutely crazy and you know what i can even attack this now that i think about it yeah and end my turn basically guys as soon as i draw a spell you're going to see some magic happen we have five mutations in my hand already oh what is that that's a new card Awakened. okay i mean we can trade here but guys i have inferno now in my hand oh wow we can make in what how is that even going to work okay that's going to be a crazy, crazy interaction now. I have no idea how this is going to work. I am going to start with my God Power here, and that's going to give me another mutation, and then I can play mutation number one, and that's going to transform Inferno into a hollow form. Ah, oh, how broken is that? I can play that on the next turn. Wow. Okay, I'm not even going to play any more mutations. I don't want to risk it. This is too good. This is too good to pass up. Let me just use my Moonlight Grace again. Let me get rid of you. And then I think I'm ending my turn. This is also going to buff up the creatures in my board. Oh wait, we can win on the next turn! What the heck? I think we just won? How much damage do we have? Oh my goodness. Guys, we're actually winning this game. What a combo with the mutations. I gave up Inferno to get this. Uh, I mean, I can just play that, right? Oh no, we can't win. I'm trolling. But still, look at the state of the board. Look at the state of the board! What is this new card? We have so much damage. Basically, if this doesn't miss, guys, we're winning the game right now. Let me start to attack. Let me, let me just try to attack here with this. Yep, I think the game is ours. We just won the game like that. Oh no, we are one off. Oh, that's crazy. But you know what I can do? I can play another mutation right now. And now we get another holo form. 
What? My point is at one health. This was basically a one hit KO. What the heck? Oh, that's another great card for my opponent, but it's not enough. Yep, we win the game. Our hollow form combo is broken. That's great. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. This time we're playing against the light domain. Let me just use my relic here. That's an even trade. My opponent is just going to use the Argot power, which is good for me in this turn. We have Path of Nature. And honestly, check this out. Wow, I have a great combo, guys. I have a great combo. Triggering after life is going to be... Oh, but wait. No, I'm not going to be greedy yet. I'm going to do something much cooler. There is so much flexibility with a new card. Check out what I'm going to do on the next turn. I am setting up for an amazing combo. Let me just end my turn. I'm not even going to use... Actually, you know what? I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me buff this creature up. And then on the next turn, I'm going to play Path of Nature after a Dread touching it to sacrifice this creature and make sure that I dwell Coralis from my deck. What a crazy game. What a crazy game. I want you to take notice of what the combo I'm going to pull off now. I am going to first attack with this to make sure that we destroy my opponent's creature. Then I can play Path of Nature to dwell a wild creature from my deck. And now I can get a very strong Coralis Rune Moth, which I am going to play immediately. This is a 4-8 creature now for 3 mana, which is going to be generating infinite value for me. And at the same time, I can also throw you down on the board to make sure that we also generate the Eldritch Mysteries. I think that's it. That's a great turn. We have a Rune of Strength. My opponent now is in a very difficult position. Let's see what strong removals they can get. Forge me bones! No! No, no, no! Hey, that's stealing. This is going to cost 5 mana now, but... I don't really mind that. I'm going to play that again, obviously. First, let me buff you up. Then I am going to play my Coralis. And then, after I attack with this guy, we're going to get the Eldritch Mysteries. And I think I'm going to start with this. I think this is the most valuable one. For Sealed, at least, right now. Guys, I think we win the game, basically. Okay, check out what's going to happen now. I am going to buff my Coralis even more. I can make a trade happen on this creature. Then, I can immediately attack this. To make sure that we go to the next tier of Eldritch Mysteries. How cool is that? Hello? Uh, what happened? Is that supposed to work like that? Hello? I think that's not working as intended, but I'm not sure. And now, I mean, I could play my lab specimen as well. To make sure that I trade this creature. Let me use my get power. Guys, the state of the board is absolutely crazy at the moment. I thought this was going to work in a different way. A ransom for my opponent. Okay. My Coral is now ended up costing 7 mana for some reason. And my opponent is just going to use Zergat Power, which I don't mind at all. Okay, let me start by attacking with my dude right here. And let me pay more attention now. Oh! Oh, now I see how this works. This doesn't upgrade the cards already in my hand. This upgrades the next instance of the Eldritch Mysteries that we uncover. How cool, how cool. Okay. For 3 mana I can summon a 7 mana creature? What? Oh my god, guys, the Eldritch Mysteries are absolutely insane. I'm definitely getting this for now. What did I just do? My hand is full. What are you doing? What am I doing? I am so hyped up and I'm making mistakes all over the place. Anyway, uh, let me trade this. Then let me actually buff you up. Let's buff you up a little bit more, I guess, to make sure that we deal more damage to my opponent. And then let me just throw a couple more creatures on the board. And I'm going to end my turn. That was such a mistake by me. I didn't realize that we had a full hand. Oh my goodness, guys. We missed an opportunity. Oh, what is going on? I guess that's, it. that's the chosen one now for my opponent. Again, let me attack directly with this. Oh, look. Oh my god, guys. There's so much to talk about with a new set. Then this says that you can draw cards from the bottom of your deck. So you can foresee, throw cards back in the bottom of your deck and then draw them with this. Wow. I am going to try to go to the next tier of Eldritch Mysteries, by the way. And let me... How do we deal with that? I mean, I can dread touch this to make sure that I attack this here. Then I can attack this here and I can play Rune of Fire on this to clear it and basically I am dealing 5 more damage to my opponent and you know what I can play the False Acolyte as well and use my Get Power. I really want to see how the Eldritch Mysteries is going to work. Basically don't, don't concede the game I beg you. Okay rebuild differently we'll take that. We will take that. Okay but now I need to attack my opponent again directly. Guys we're going to... Okay this is... These are the epic Eldritch Mysteries. Deal damage to a random enemy creature equal to your unlocked mana gems. Wow. Oh wow. I can deal 7 damage to my opponent basically and win the game now. This is a 3 mana removal. Absolutely amazing. Refresh 2 mana. Unlock 2 mana locks. I think we're winning the game now, basically. Check this out, guys. I can attack my opponent directly. 
And then, as soon as I do that, we are winning the game with a ley line beam. Yes, the game is ours. The Elder Rich Mysteries are absolutely crazy. What has God's Unchained created? This is absolutely amazing. I am so excited because today we got to see some of the new mechanics with a new set. You see how crazy these games can get. I am so, so happy and excited about the new set. We haven't seen the new meta yet, but I think this opens up so much possibilities for Guns Unchained, honestly. Don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to make a comment right now to enter the giveaway. This is going to be it for today's video. I will see you all very, very soon because we have a ton of new stuff. I will continue this sealed run probably in the next video if we get some more cool interactions. Until then, enjoy and I'll see you all very, very soon.